Hey everybody, welcome to Local Business Hacks Podcast. I'm your host, Carl Case, and I'm on a mission to help you. Every week we're gonna be talking to local business owners and experts to get their best tips, tricks, and hacks to grow your business. This show's designed to teach you, inspire you, and motivate you to take massive action and start to build your future-proof business. Whether you're just starting off or you're taking your existing business to the next level, this episode is for you. So let's get started. Hey, local business hackers. I'm your host, director of global business development for Referizer, joined today by, I want to call him one of my secret weapons, Jim Law, the CEO and co-founder of Advanced Biotechnologies, aka home of the biocharger. Jim, welcome to Local Business Hacks. Carl, great to see you. Thanks for having me on. So, Jim, you're so welcome. I call you one of my secret weapons because the machine behind me, as you guys can see, is been my source of energy, ability to stay up throughout the night working and has helped me to fix a knee problem when the doctor told me I'd be two years in the future to, to ever ski again and so many different things. But I'd love to give you the floor to tell people about the biocharger and more importantly, your journey to get to this point in your career. Sure. Well, first of all, I never thought I'd be here and looking at the biocharger for the first time, my reaction was, wow, this is like the flux capacitor and back to the future. But my background really quickly is I grew up in high technology back in the early 80s was with Apple Computer followed Steve Jobs when he got booted from Apple and went over to Next and got really innovative on some new technologies there. And then from that point, became a pretty much a serial entrepreneur. I've had two quite successful companies in the past, both sold to public firms and thought I was going to fish and spend time with my family and golf a little bit. And I got drawn into and met through actually our sons who played football in high school together, a guy named Jim Girard, who still to this day is about the smartest guy I've ever met next to Steve Jobs. He's just brilliant and he is the mad scientist. But all of that kind of put it aside for a second and say, okay, what what is the biocharger? And I prefer to kind of start with what's the problem that we're trying to solve. And what it really boils down to is that due to our modern lifestyles today, we are completely depleted from energy and that is critical to our health and wellness. And when I say that, these are all scientifically and medically validated facts, and you can fact check me, but if you just take a look at the last five years, chronic disease five years ago in the U.S. was at an astounding rate of four in 10 American adults having at least one form of chronic disease. Fast forward five years to 2022, it is now six in 10 have at least one form of chronic disease, and four in 10 have two or more. That's 200 million Americans, Carl, that are suffering from some kind of chronic disease. So they actually did a study on the root cause of, and they looked at 80 chronic disease, and they found that there was one common characteristic across all, and it was inadequate cellular voltage. So where do we fit? What does that mean? Well, since the only way that our body can heal, recover, rejuvenate, or revitalize is through the regeneration of new cells, we're doing that while we're having this conversation at three to four million cells per second, our body's regenerating. And if they're not perfectly healthy new cells, our health diminishes as a result. But if they're perfectly healthy new cells, our body can recover from anything. And I mean, it's an amazing tool. So essentially, they look and say, okay, so why the energy shortage? Well, another fact is that as Americans, we spend 93% of our time indoors. Now, when we're indoors, we're blocked from four key energy sources that exist in nature that are vital to our health and wellness, but that we're you know, don't have available to us. And not only are we blocked from those good energies, we're surrounded by man-made energies and EMFs that are not necessarily what mother nature intended for our bodies to use. So that combined with the toxic environment, those we can see, some toxins we can see, some we can't, 
not to mention our lifestyles where we're just burning the candle at both ends. We're stressed out all the time. It's all led us to become sicker. And at the, the net of it is the further away we get from nature, the sicker we become. So what the biocharger does is replicates and amplifies those four key energies that all exist in nature and allows our body to be bathed in these. So it radiates a sphere of energy so that by sitting next to the biocharger for 12 to 15 minutes with either yourself or your family or some friends or coworkers, you're all receiving the energy your body needs to regenerate perfect, healthy new cells and from that point forward, healthy cells, healthy body. Incredible. And to just to give some context to what Jim's saying in my personal life, prior to the biocharger, I would go to sleep at max 10 o'clock at night. And prior to that, 6 p.m. rolls around and my productivity is done. I need dinner, some TV and some breathing and I'm done for the night. Now, since the biocharger and cleaning up my act a little bit. I'm productive till about 11 30, 12 o'clock at night. I sleep till 4 45 in the morning. And by 5 a.m. I am up and working out. Whereas if you would have told me that a year ago, there's no way I could have achieved it. So, you know, that's one of my various case studies on the energy side of what the biocharger's done. But Jim, I'd love to hear from you outside of energy. What are ways that people utilize the biocharger in your own opinion? Sure. Well, for, first of all, if we look at individuals, we kind of ca- have three categories. We call health needy, health conscious, and peak performance. And so what's unique about the biocharger, aside from the fact that it stacks those four energies into one platform, if you want, we can go into the details on those. But not only can we help our overall cellular health through providing the energy in such a way that our bodies can receive it and actually increase the cellular voltage, which then improves cellular function, but we can target very specific health objectives or outcomes and sometimes health challenges in any of those categories by tailoring what we call recipes, which are frequency and energy programs that are designed for a specific outcome. If you look at Nikola Tesla, one of his famous quotes is that if you want to know the secrets of the universe, think energy, frequency, and vibration. And our whole body, everything is about vibration. (laughs) And when you think about it, our cells are all vibrating. And so from an overall health and wellness standpoint, by us pulsing these energies through a wide range of frequencies, Even though all our cells vibrate at different or have resonance, but are vibrating at different frequencies, we're encapsulating the range of frequencies that our cells need. So if you think about back in school, if you had a tuning fork, and if you had another tuning fork at the same pitch, if you tap one, the other would start to vibrate, and that's called sympathetic vibration. And if you, even if you stop, stop the vibration of the first one, the second one will continue to vibrate. Well, our cells are the same way. So as we're running through the frequencies using the energies that the biocharger produces in these recipes, we're allowing our bodies to receive energy and restore the original resonance at the cellular level. That's the broad overall benefit. Now, the fact that we can tailor recipes that allow us to target things like sleep. A lot of people have an issue with sleep, and even if they sleep a number of hours, a good number of hours, now, most of us are using wearables or can, can measure that, but the percentage of deep healing sleep, restful sleep is usually a small percentage and it varies. But with the biocharger, with running one of our Theta Wave programs, which is designed to calm the mind, doesn't make you tired. But when your head hits the pillow, you go into a noticeably deeper stage of sleep and you can measure it. My, mine goes from about 25% of deep restful sleep to over 50% just by doing one 12 minute session a few hours before bed. Now, people that have the opposite, they have chronic fatigue syndrome. It takes everything they've got to get up off the couch. And what the biocharger can do is got several energy programs that are targeted for different parts of the overall body. We can target your adrenal glands to help recharge them. 
but by by honing in on these specific sets of frequencies and get a certain outcome will boost the energy and support recovery from things that people have been plagued with for in some cases years and years incredible jim i guess now is a good time to go into what PEMF, light frequencies, harmonics, and voltage, the differences. And if you don't mind, when touching on these, just really bring it to a practical standpoint, because a lot of guests that I've had on this podcast Mm -hmm. and our listeners either own PEMF beds or getting into PEMF technology, but not harnessing everything together. Sure. Yeah. So when we set out to design the biocharger, We knew that it was going to be quite a feat to try and find a way to combine multiple technologies into one. And if you go back to the early 20th century, there were really four key kind of captains of industry or forefathers of energy. And one of them was a guy named Royal Wright. And check him out, Google him. But he was all about frequency. And then there was a fellow named Georges Lahosky. I believe he's from Serbia, who had developed something called a multi-wave oscillator, which restored energy in a different way. And then you had someone that was investigating light therapy, which is now very popular. And then people that were looking at voltage or frequencies and harmonics like, like Reich was. The four key energy types, we'll start out with PEMF because are pulse electromagnetic fields, which is probably most commonly known. Again, it exists in nature. People think about earth pulse or grounding or walking around barefoot, which is all very helpful. And in fact, if you don't have frequency and you go into outer space, you get sick. So now they have frequency generators in all of the spacesuits and people that launch up. So it's vital to us. You can't go in a Faraday cage, which blocks all energy or all frequency and live. You get sick and you die. So pulse electromagnetic fields are very well documented medically and scientifically to have a number of benefits, a lot around soft tissue and ranging from that to bone healing. And it comes in a variety of different devices. Most are mats or tables or something where you have to have an apparatus attached. And they all vary in their power level and they're measured in gauss or milligauss. When we designed the biocharger, we knew that we wanted to incorporate that as an energy, but we didn't want it to be like a Swiss Army knife where you get a little bit of everything. We wanted to be best in class. And so the differences in the PEMF world between mats and some of the higher end systems, Pulse Center is a company who makes a very high end PEMF only device, very powerful uh, it uses a different type of circuitry and design, and we actually replicate and use that same type of LC circuit design to allow us to generate the high fields of PEMF in such a way that you have to have no attachment, you don't ingest anything, you don't exert yourself. Sitting just like you and I are now next to our biochargers, we're getting radiated with very high concentration much more, exponentially more than if we laid on a mat for a half an hour, an hour, or that and some of these other devices. So PMF is huge. And again, well-documented. Um, and then there's light, photobiomodulation, which is essentially not sunlight, but using cosmic light. And generally, you've heard of red light therapy, obviously very, very popular now, cold laser, infrared. Those are all forms of healing energy within the visible light spectrum, frequencies that are within the visible light spectrum, and they are produced by different gases that are in our atmosphere. So most red light therapy uses xenon or potentially argon. Cold laser may use argon or helium. Some use neon. What we actually do in the biocharger, and again, we're trying to mimic, replicate nature, is we combine six inert noble gases, the element gases, so that we're actually casting a broader range of frequency in the visible light spectrum that offers even better results than a one or two gas combination of system. And again, you're sitting next to it for about a 15 minute session. I go a long way on that, but it's suffice it to say that it's kind of a superset of a lot of the other type of technologies that are out there. The third is frequencies and harmonics. By the way, 
Light photobiomodulation is well documented. Again, number of studies validating the efficacy in a variety of applications. And then frequencies and harmonics, a little bit less popular or aware. There's a little bit less awareness, but they are vital. And they are finding and making huge advancements now using frequencies for healing. Check out some of the TED Talks on how frequencies are being used to reduce tumors and do some amazing things around that. But it all kind of stems back to Royal Rife and looking what he was able to do through targeting frequencies. This isn't a guesswork. There's physics involved and you can calculate based on any type of living organism or cell type, exactly what frequencies can affect it. So we can look at our liver and know what range of frequencies will affect that organ versus our heart, versus our appendix, or if we have skin issues. So the ability to target, we use, we have a cloud-based architecture that allows us to, and our intellectual property and patents are around how we can actually create these recipes using very specific, very granular sets of frequencies in a repeatable way that allows us to target supporting recovery from all of these. Of course, the biocharger is not a medical device. We're simply providing your body what it needs to recover and heal itself. And then the, the fourth type of energy is voltage. So it's kind of funny, Carl, if you or I were to keel over right now and the paramedics came running in the room, the, the first thing they do is what? They take the paddles, right? Hit us with high voltage. Well, why wait? You know, but the fact is, and, and going back to a little more of the science on it's validated by a great book called Healing is Voltage by Dr. Jerry Tennant, world-renowned MD, and really simplified and understood this in such a way that the, it, that all of us can now understand the importance of energy at the cellular level. But what it does is it allows us, our inner cells, when they're healthy, they operate between 50 and 70 millivolts. It can actually be measured. Some would say 60 and 80, but those are healthy cells. The lower the voltage at the cellular level, the sicker the cell. And an actual pathogen is 25 millivolts or below, and it's actually negative 25 millivolts or below. So the reality is that without proper voltage, you can't have cellular health. And the biocharger is producing about 600,000 volts of energy that it's radiating through the air. So we're using air as a conductor. And you may have seen demos when people hold up the light bulb from six or seven feet away or make a human chain and it lights that's because we're generating such high voltage and your body's receiving that voltage. Now, there are studies, Wheeling Jesuit University and Florida Southern University, that validated that the impact of high voltage on a healthy cell membrane actually allows that cell to electroporate or create new ion channels and pathways that allow the two most important things of healthy cells, which is uptake and nutrients in dealing with toxicity to recur to occur optimally. So if you take the logic of what we're doing by generating that high voltage wanting your body receive that, again, it's just helping our body in a different way. PEMF helps it one way uh, and affects the cells, the light, another, frequencies and harmonics and voltage. And we're the only system that stacked them together so that biohackers are stackers by nature. And those of us that have businesses are seeing a lot of changes and trends in the health and wellness industry. The biocharger is a really nice transition tool for that. Amazing. Thank you, Jim. I think the validation for me, ever since owning the biocharger, I've learned which of my friends are biohackers and who's not. And it's amazing when they come over here and they're like, oh my God, you have a biocharger? And <laughs> it's like the ultimate comparison tool because I didn't really know that other technologies existed in separate forms. Mm -hmm. And I'll never forget week one of having the biocharger a year ago, my friend comes over and says, dude, I didn't know you were into this stuff. Come to my house. I have a scalar machine. I have a PEMF bed and I go into his room and there was wires everywhere. I mean, <laughs> cables going everywhere, noises coming from all these things. I thought I was in an alien room, like a legit bunker of alien tech and he's like yeah so 
all of these can kind of do what one of the things that your biocharger does. And I'm looking at him and I'm like, how much money have you invested in this? He said, oh, forget the money. I'm hundreds of thousands of dollars in, but it's learning how to, to push this in the right way to create what the biocharger does. And one button is like the godsend for me. So thank you again. Yeah. It, you know, it's funny that you mentioned that last week on the, so I think it was the 11th, um, the 8th and the 11th, the Wall Street Journal published an article on the rich and famous and how they're into biohacking now. And in the mansion section on the printed version, they talk about the biohacker homes and spending hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars to reverse aging and to keep healthy and all that. And the biochargers front and center in like four or five of the photos, a couple of our clients were on there. I mean, it was such a surprise for us to be able to see it in the big lights. And then less than a week before that, CBS in Miami ran a special on one of our clients that has the biocharger and is kind of introducing what they call touchless wellness technologies, which of course the biocharger was a natural for. It's amazing. Jim, before we go get into your hack, because I'm anxious to hear it, and I'm sure, sure everybody else is, speaking about business, I personally work with a handful of boutique fitness studios that have scaled their businesses off of having a biocharger in their facility not only for its uniqueness, its ability to help their members recover faster, so many other modalities. How do you see businesses using the biocharger either from an assistance perspective and value add, but also how do they monetize off of this product? Sure. Well, first of all, we looked at the trends and statistics of why we're getting sicker. We've been looking at business in the health and wellness. And since COVID, there's been a lot of change, obviously. Oh, yeah. But the health and wellness business as a whole is growing at a phenomenal rate, $4.88 trillion in 2022, projected to be $7 trillion. Uh, I can't even count that many zeros in 2025. So that's a 43% increase. But the trends are, and that's not from people that are buying another elliptical and a, another tanning bed. When you look at the trends of where people and where the focus and where the money's going, we like to follow the money. In the health and wellness business, now more people are focused on community community activity. So being able to work out as a group, being able to do community events, and there's this social aspect of it. So, you know, what you can't get on the treadmill necessarily, things like that. The second thing that we saw is a huge trend is people want to get back to nature. They want, and you know, that's evidenced by the look and the growth of like cryo and some of the other, um, they call them biohacking technologies, but they're really going back to, to natural acts, you know, causing our body to react in the way it would, in, you know, prior to modern day. You get, you know, you, you drop through uh, ice when you're out trying to, you know, slay a, you know, whatever you are, a, a seal or something, and you, you know, you, you're in 30 degree water. What does your body do? Well, now we're mimicking that so we can figure out how our body can recover from things like that. Not a great example, but at the end of the day, a business has got to think about catering to that client member and patient base in a different way. And the biocharger kind of maps into that really well. First of all, it it will complement and enhance whatever you're doing now. Even if it, Even if people are coming in just to do a straight workout, if they have a boutique or a hybrid model, same thing. The biohacking center, same thing. If people, if they're coming in to do cryo, for example, if they do a 15-minute biocharger session, they're going to get even better results, and they're going to notice that. People that do IV, which drip therapies, NAD, all of that, it actually, because at the cellular level, we're helping you improve your uptake of nutrients that includes the supplements, that includes the IV. So you're getting better absorption of, it's a better delivery system. So you're enhancing that. But more important, more importantly, is that it builds that social connection again, because you can have four to six people sit around the biocharger. Now, one of your big customers who's growing very quickly, you know, has IV and has a lot of other solutions around that. And it, you can wait before going from station to station, sometimes 15 or 20 minutes. And they'll work that out, but that's kind of dead time where if you had a biocharger, 
they could go and get an enhancement from just sitting next to the bouncer, plus talk to another member, build that social connection. And what we found is that, A, people want to come back and they want to come back at the same time and, and see the same people that they did. So there's that social connection, but they're able to, it becomes a lifestyle. So you might do cryo once a week or once every couple of weeks or go to the chiropractor every couple of weeks. But once people start experiencing the biocharger, they want to come in and use it regularly. And so now it creates a revenue opportunity. First off, you know, any business that puts it in, it is the lowest operating cost of anything because you don't need to have a dedicated technician. Um, it doesn't consume a high amount of energy. So you're looking at 20 to $30 a month, excuse me, for the electricity use. You can operate it remotely. There's really no cost of operation. The only things that will expire in a few years are the tubes, the gas tubes, and you can replace them. So from an operational standpoint, it doesn't get any easier than that. And you can curate recipes that are 12 to 15 minutes long to be in alignment with whatever it is you're doing. So if you're helping people strengthen one day, work out, and they want a recovery program, then you have a recovery program. If you want them to do pre-workout, they can do a pre-workout program. If they're coming in to do meditation, oh my God, people that meditate go deeper, faster. It's unreal. And on top of that, people that do Wim Hof breathing or other types of breath work Again, they notice the effects so much faster with the biocharger. So it truly does enhance the experience. And at the end of the day, any of your businesses, any of your clients that are serving either patients, health, wellness, clients, or members, and they're in the health and wellness business, the number one thing that matters is having that client, patient, or member feel better when they left and when they came in. And the biocharger validates and assures that for him. Incredible. And Jim, you guys have created a ton of monetization strategies as to how businesses can not only turn this into potentially their greatest revenue source, but to be in the green in no time. Yeah. So from a combination of things, first of all, there are multiple ways to monetize it and multiple revenue streams. Some, for instance, if you own a gym or even a, a hybrid fitness type concept, there are certain clientele that will never come, that, that they are not interested in what you have. But if you bring a biocharger in and they hear about it and they have access to it and you create a membership for them just for the biocharger, that's an entirely new revenue stream you're plugging in that has almost no cost to it. It's pure margin. Not to mention they tell their friends and all of that. It also, we have clients that say, look, we just make it part of the basic package because people love it and they want to have that. And I've heard the argument of why would you do that? Why would you give something away that you could get? And I've got other people that charge, you know, from $99 a session to $350 a month, $400 a month to have access to the biocharger. So we can help you with that. And then the other side is that we realize that a lot of these businesses are smaller businesses. They're investing to grow. Cash is king. Cash flow is king. So we've worked with a financing company who specializes in working with small to mid-sized businesses and offers a program where there's zero down payment, no payments for 90 days. And when you couple that with the level of training and support that we give you to get up to speed on the biocharger... By the 90 days, you're already in positive cash flow. I mean, you're in positive cash flow day one before you ever make your first payment. And if you decide to pay it off early, great. The other aspect is that people fall in love with the biocharger and want their own. So when, yeah, yeah. so when you found out about it, I think at a Tony Robbins event, you hit a QR code, it brought it up and showed you more about it. And then we started talking and the rest is history. But every client of ours, it's a business that introduces us to somebody who purchased a biocharger also gets a really nice referral fee. So we have clients that are literally paying for their biochargers just by sharing information about it to people who are like, you know what? I, I love coming here. I, I want to do the other therapies and continue to come here, but I want the biocharger every day. 
Yeah, all I can tell you guys is if you've gotten any of this interest so far from what Jim's saying, connect with Jim. We'll share on the end how to connect with him. For me personally, I'm thinking of places that do hair regrowth and how the biocharger has aided me in getting haircuts weekly instead of biweekly now because my hair grows so fast. And all these different things that I personally have experienced, there's endless opportunities to ways to monetize this machine. So definitely get with Jim in in regards to how to do that, let alone that everyone around you and your clients are going to be living healthier, better lives, which is why we're all in this space anyways. So thanks for that. Jim, let's get down to business. Local Business Hacks is the name of our podcast. Tell us some stories, maybe Tony Robbins related, as everyone on this show that listens knows he's my guru. Um, but give us some stories that taught you your favorite hacks that you love to reteach. Sure. If I go back to Tony, for example, over 30 years ago now, I followed Tony Robbins. You know, he's actually almost a year younger than I am. But, you know, he really caught my attention. I was out in Southern California. I, I went through all his programs in the, the mid to late 90s. And I got so much out of it that fast forward about 20, actually 25 years to the day from the first major event I did with him, which was called Date with Destiny, which is unbelievable, life-changing, probably his most intense event. And now it has six to 10,000 people at a live version of it. There were 160 people in the room when I did it. So it was like unbelievable. But, but that guy changed my life. So fast forward, I have four kids and one of my sons is kind of at a, a crossroads in his life. And I thought, you know what? Let's go down to, and do a date with destiny. And we signed up for it. And this is in 2017. And, and about a month or so before the event, I found out that Tony had, he had real issues with heavy metals, in in particular mercury. And I'm thinking, how can that be? A guy that eats better than 99.9% of the people in the world having that kind of toxicity and his two favorite fish were swordfish and tuna, which are top of the food chain and accumulate everything down beneath them. So when it was really causing him issues, I knew that the biocharger could help because, you know, even at that cellular level, when you think about the, you know, the two primary functions, uptake of nutrients and elimination of toxicity, you know, that's what we're trying to to help do. So at first I thought, you know what, Um, Tony is, has done so much for me. I want to reach out to him, make sure he knows about it and all of this. And we were out in Arizona, the Arizona Dynabacks were a great client of ours we were doing a filming session and I kind of just had a moment where I grabbed the video guy, I went outside and had him start rolling. And I did about a two minute video. It was basically saying to Tony how much he'd impacted my life in in every way. And that when I learned about, you know, his challenge with mercury toxicity, I knew the biocharger could help. And I would just, you know, rather than to just try and explain it to him, I'd rather just give you one in appreciation for what you've done for me. Well, you know, it turns out that uh, that I'm not the only guy that tries to give Tony stuff. And he's got quite, um, he's got quite an insulation of people around him that, you know, for good reason, uh, make it very difficult. And so for over a month and going to literally over 50 contacts within RRI, his publicists, his security guys, all of this, um, no one was willing to, they, they all just kept basically said the same thing. You know how many people try and give Tony stuff? And, you know, it's just, it's very nice of you, but yeah, you know, I'm trying letter, to make whatever. the guy live longer. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, it was at the event itself that we went and this in December of 2020, uh, 2017, um, Mike Melio, who was presenting on stage and was telling his story, which is just amazing. Uh, and he was actually talking about business mastery. When I saw how much he loved Tony, I just like knew that's the guy. That is the guy that's going to get this to Tony. I turned to my son who was in a different group because they separated the thing. I said, that's the guy. And I chased him around, waited for everybody to finish asking him questions. And he was very reluctant to talk to me. In fact, you know, I won't, I won't share the expletives, but 
you know, he, he basically wanted me out of his face. But I finally said, look, if you love Tony the way you say you do, you'll just give him this link to a video that I created for him. And he looks at me and he goes, you know, I don't know what it is about you, but there's something. And he turned my badge around and wrote his private email address. And he said, do not send this link until Wednesday. This is on a Saturday. He goes, send it on Wednesday. And he walked away from me. On Wednesday, I sent it. Wednesday afternoon, Tony's assistant calls me and says, Tony was touched by your video. And he'll be calling you in five minutes. <laughs> Next thing I know, the, the phone rings. It's Tony. Hey, Jim, listen, man, I'm really touched by what you did. And, you know, I, 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 I've got access to all of these different technologies, but this looks really interesting to me. And he goes, and, and I'd love to take you up on it. And I'll, I'll, I'll put Sarah back on the line with you and, and we'll make this happen. I'm like stunned. But we made it happen. And there were so many obstacles in getting it where they wanted it, when they wanted it, and all of that. But that it didn't matter. It was three days before Christmas when he wanted it, and UPS lost it. And I'm in Florida chasing down UPS drivers at 2.30 a.m., bribing them to give me the number to the dispatch center to be able to get The bottom line is I made it there, got it, and he fell in love with it. And he and Sage called me the night they got it, and they said, you know, basically, we have access to everything, and we have never been more excited than what we have with this. And next thing you know, it's like, how do we pack it up? Well, I'm like, what do you mean? Well, we're flying up to Sage's parents for Christmas. We want to put it in the jet. And then we want two for West Palm. We want one for his house. And, you know, and, and within a matter of minutes, it's like, we got to get seven of these things. <laughs> and then within about now, now Tony's calling me. Whenever he goes anywhere and saying, look, he goes, hey, I'm with I'm with this guy, Kevin Preston. He's a really good doctor. He's up here. He, he studies uh, traditional Chinese medicine. You got to talk to him. And everywhere he's going, he's like connecting me, which was just the most amazing. I never expected it. I mean, and, and all that to lead to then he calls me up at three o'clock in the morning on a Monday morning. I think it was like the 22nd of February. And he says, hey, Jim. Listen, I got my platinum partners all going up to Sun Valley. We got a, a big event up there. So I, and I'm going to have a birthday party at my house on Sunday. And I thought, we've got the one biocharger up there. But what if we get four or five more up there? And you know, everybody gets experience. He goes, better yet, they're all going to stay at the same place. Let's get you a room up there and bring four or five of them up there. And then bring them over to my house afterwards. And I'm like standing there. You know, this is three in the morning in my underwear in the kitchen. By the way, I had a ringtone for Tony, so I, I knew when he was calling. I didn't have one for my wife, but I do now. But I just said, Tony, we'll make it happen. When, when is it? He goes, Wednesday. I mean, literally, so two days later. But that unfolded, and now we have since then traveled around the world with Tony and his platinum partners and the key events. And so the kind of the hack, if you will, is just being determined and not letting up and almost pig headed in terms of if you decide to do something, commit and don't take no for an answer. And if you're doing it from the heart and Tony says this, he goes, you make decisions one of two ways from the brain or your heart. When, when you make decisions and you take action from your heart and, and honestly, I was not looking for a commercial opportunity whatsoever when I wanted Tony to get a biocharger. It was because I knew it could help him, and it did. But the result of that is, is, is cascaded into now hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of his followers have biochargers around the world. Our company, you know, the Platinum Partner Group, that, that now more than half of them have biochargers and love them. And to see the customers that were at that very first event in 2018, when we went up there and, and be able to see them recently in UPW in the UK, was it's, it's just the most rewarding, satisfying feeling. The, the other hack is take great care of your clients. And something that I see as a huge void in the health and wellness space is there's all these great technologies and, you know, bright, shiny objects and all of that. The holy grail is things that really work. 
and we like to, yeah, there you go. But there's such a lack of support. And when I say that, people helping you to optimize whatever investment you're making for your health and wellness, you just can't drop it off and hope that somebody's going to be get the best use out of it. There's a lot more to it than that. And so part of my Apple upbringing and, and just commitment to Tony's, as Tony says, it building a raving fan base, that is, that is the other hack. When, you're, when your clients love you and are willing to stand on the mountaintops to shout out how great you are for them, that is magical. And that's not new to anyone, but it works. And it takes focus and effort. We changed our support and technical support and onboarding to client success. And everyone's function in the company, and we have all our own employees. We're spread out all over the country, but but uh, they're all our own direct employees. Everyone's number one mission is every client, regardless if you're a business or an individual, needs it for your health issue or health challenge or to break personal bests. Our job is to help you optimize the biocharger to get the results you're looking for. Ooh, if, now, if you didn't want a biocharger before, now is the time. Jim, where can people get their hands on trying this machine or what's the best next step for, for everybody that's definitely now interested? Well, uh, appreciate that. And in anticipation of this, Carl, we want to do a couple of things. One is that uh, if you'll if you'll have um, your followers, if they're interested, go to biocharger.com and look at find a biocharger or the, our biocharger locator, and we will sponsor a complimentary biocharger session. Uh, find a location near you, fill out the quick form, and you'll be off to the races and have a complimentary biocharger session on us. If you're interested in learning more and looking more at the deep science, we've got a lot on our website. Our socials are great. We've got some great you know, pets, by the way. Love and do really well with the biocharger. So you can't help but look at our Instagram and see some of our furry friends involved in that. And I know, I know it's helped one of your three-legged furry friends. But uh, in addition to that, if you just reach out to us, um, you'll see our numbers on the website or, or call or reach out, fill out one of the requests for more information. There's a great, there's hundreds of testimonials. If you go to biocharger.com forward slash testimonials. So um, no shortage of resource or just reach out to me, uh, jim.law at biocharger.com and we'll, we'll get you what you need. Amazing. This is CC's debut on the local business hacks podcast. All right. Say, Hey, um, Jim, Jim mentioned that biocharger does amazing things for pets. For those of you that haven't heard, I am very involved in 12 animal shelters all over the globe. And CC was my rescue four years ago. And when I got CC, she had just gotten her leg amputated, was living on the streets and had no hair whatsoever. This dog is now the hairiest dog in the world. <laughs> I never would have, I always wished for her to have hair, but not everywhere that there is. Um, so, you know, our own personal case study is that her and I use the canine cuddle feature on the biocharger, which enables us to connect in a super spiritual and beautiful way. Isn't that right? Um, and also I have the hairiest, most beautiful dog that looks just like me on the planet. So I'm, <laughs> I'm very grateful for, you know, acting out of my heart and allowing CC to, to feed off of this amazing energy. So definitely if you have a pet and you're a pet lover like me, you know, forget your own wellness put the put the dog and the animal first and and that's the reason for the biocharger but it's it's amazing thank you jim i'd love to ask you as a serial entrepreneur yourself what are some of your must read books that you recommend for anybody in any stage of their business uh, number one would be the road less stupid by keith cunningham First off, it's always great to to read. He calls it shelf help books, which which are you know, you read it once and then you put it on the shelf, and and you know you, you may not get as much out of it as as you thought you would. But he he is able to dissect and break down and give you a way to get control of your business and to use what he calls his big eight plan 
um, to drive your business and and get way better results with way less stress. So that that's been foundational for us. On the sales side, you know, I think that the Chet Holmes, the ultimate uh, the ultimate sales machine, has a, a lot of some of the same messaging, but you know that it's kind of like a Bible for that. He was he was one of the original four founders of you know he's he's right up there. I'm not quite a Zig Ziglar, you know, love, love Zig and, and all those guys. If anyone's heard of Joe Polish, it's spelled like Polish, but Joe Polish, and he started something called the Genius Network. He's actually good friends with Tony. Um, he wrote a book that really resonates called What's In It For Them? And then a book by Dan Sullivan, who is really good at time efficiency and helping you figure out how to lead, not manage. And it, it's called Who Not How. And that is a mind blower, especially for those of us that are trying to, you know, to do too many things and having having a struggle keeping up because that's the life of an entrepreneur. And my life's gotten a lot better after kind of reading these things, not once, but over and over and over again. Uh, and, and every time I get something more out of it or reinforces that. Awesome. Thank you for that. Sure. Jim, before we wrap up, I'm going to ask my favorite question. If you were to have dinner with a historical figure from the past, who are you eating with? What are you eating? And what are you talking about? Okay. Joe Walsh from the Eagles. Um, you know, I probably could have come up with a, a more sophisticated answer. But, but that guy has fascinated me from day one and being such kind of a apparent like a burnout, but he's about as dumb as a fox and his music's <laughs> great. And the way he has kind of developed his career and kept a great sense of humor, kept a lot of humility. It's just uh, a solid individual. And he's had a, a lot of challenges, which he's overcome. And to see him come out the other side, it's uh, I'd, I'd love to just kind of hear some of his stories along the way. But I love the Eagles, but uh, but especially Joe. That's awesome. Thank you, Jim. And before we wrap up, tell us one more time, best way to get connected with you and with Biocharger, biocharger.com. And yeah, biocharger.com. Our, our Instagram is biochargerng, uh, LinkedIn, biochargerng, and uh, YouTube channel. We've got a pretty good YouTube channel, biochargerng. It's kind of a common theme here. Or, you know, feel free to reach out to me or, uh, Info at biocharger.com. Uh, and my email, as I mentioned earlier, is jim.law at biocharger.com. Love to hear from you. Incredible. Thank you, Jim. And thank you to the whole team at Biocharger. I, myself, CC, and everyone that comes into my home is beyond grateful and thankful for this incredible machine. And uh, we look forward to continuing to follow this Biocharger global growth. All right. Well, thank you for the opportunity. I hope we have a chance to impact some of your listeners and, and help improve the quality of their lives and health or those are the people that they take care of. Woohoo! Thanks. Nothing Jim. like one last thing is the biocharger is like the modern day campfire. And if you if you're if you have a family, it is the try biocharging instead of, you know, at the breakfast table where everybody's texting, whatever. Sit around, have a biocharger session in the morning to start the day and watch how that transforms your family and the connectedness. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Thank you, Jim. We so All appreciate right. you. Take care. Thank you so much. That's it for this week's episode. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to head over to our site, local-business-hacks.com to check out the show notes and send me questions or ideas for future episodes. If you want to grow your business, just like the people you've heard from here, Follow Local Business Hacks Podcast and tune in for new tips, tricks, and tactics. Until next time, thanks for listening and keep hacking.